You doing other commercial endorsement deals. Y'all own um, private jets. You spending your money on bougie bitches like you always do. Because Drewski, you don't like... Drewski don't like ratchet women from the hood. Drewski don't like ghetto women. So, of course, you and your homies going to spend your money on bougie-ass bitches all day and live lavishly. But, motherfucker, you forgot at the end. You got to break Ann's meat, nigga. You really thought I was going to settle for a thousand motherfucking dollars? You got me fucked up, Drewski. Highly fucked up. No more of that. I'm about to be on the private jets with you motherfuckers. I'm about to be doing commercial endorsement deals. That's what the fuck I want, nigga. I want my fucking promises that was made last year that never seen a day of light. I want my shit and I want my fucking deal. If I don't get it, bro, fuck it. Let me walk. Give it to ugly, nigga. Somebody will bring me aboard this shit. I ain't fucking playing. I don't mean to let the fans down. I love the fans. But at the end of the day, fans got to understand... A nigga made enough sacrifice. I sacrificed a lot of money on that show. I want my deal. I want my deal, bro. I don't mean to let the fans down like that, but he they, they straight up disrespected me. Offering me a funky ass thousand dollars. Like Drewski. Motherfucker. Do you not understand? I'm from Cali. I know niggas from the hood that can make a thousand dollars in one or two or three fucking days. From either being on the block or working a fucking job as a side hustle and being on the block. Like, like, bro, you they, they he really disrespected me with that little funky ass thousand. Y'all motherfuckers don't know my fucking background. You motherfuckers think I'm a suburb boy. I'm not no fucking suburban boy. I can tell you that right now. I ain't no fucking suburban boy. Trust me. That's what you niggas do. I always said, parent my mom, move me and my brothers and sisters out the hood for a better life. Not to follow in their footsteps. I always said that, and I made sure I made myself clear. Like, come on. You niggas, see, that's the problem with some of you niggas. You niggas always want me to put y'all on, but you niggas can't listen for shit. That's y'all niggas' problem. Right now, these motherfuckers, they want me to come, and these they ready to offer me a little funky-ass thousand dollars. And these motherfuckers know how to offer me money. You niggas wish y'all was in my opportunity. I can put a nigga in the opportunity. Y'all niggas don't listen. So when you niggas ready to listen, holler at me, nigga. That's why I fuck with old school soul niggas. Because they understand. If you niggas had an opportunity, I would have took that thousand and be like, shit, we going to the strip club. On some stupid shit like that. And I'm not even tempting that little funky ass thousand dollars. I want my fucking contract, bro. Motherfuckers, they want to fly me out. Trust me. I got other people that want to fly me out to do that 20 versus 1 challenge. Glock 30 versus 20 women. I turned that shit down just because the money wasn't right. Motherfuckers ready to fly me out. Trust me. I want the around amount of money. Motherfuckers want to fly me out. They want to book my rooms and shit. Trust me. But motherfuckers, they not giving me my price. So I turn the shit down. A lot of you niggas wish you was in my motherfucking position, bro. At least I know how to get money, nigga.